YouTube. So today I created this look. Very smoky, very pretty. Um, it's very neutral, very neutral, and it has lots of browns and um, nude colors in it. So I hope you guys enjoy this this tutorial. Sorry, I'm getting like really ugh because my brother's just like staring at me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I did use the BH Cosmetics um, palette just because it has lots of neutral colors and it is a neutral eyeshadow palette. Palette, duh. So I went for that. Um, just as uh, you know, because lots of people can't afford like the expensive ones. Um, I think it's the same thing. Just as long as you know how to work it, it's the same thing. Um, regardless of what anyone says, I feel like it's the same thing. So yeah, this is what I came up with. Um, I hope it helps a lot of people. And I also talk about how I blend my eyeshadows and how to do it. And just how you basically need only two eyeshadows to do this type of look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys want to know how to get this look then just continue watching. Today I'm going to show you a basic look that I usually do almost every day. Um, this is just like my hurrying, going out, getting the kids out of the house, or just me trying to put some color to my face. And sorry about the nails, I really got to redo them. But anyways, so I'm going to show you, this is just like a neutral kind of um, tutorial. So I'm going to do everything and I'm going to talk instead of just putting music so you guys can actually hear me. And sorry if you guys hear my kids and everything. Um, their mind stuck with them so sorry so anyways the basic the basic tool that you're going to need is a blending brush and this one i got at the dollar store for only a dollar so these you could find almost anywhere um elf is now sold at walmart so you can basically find them anywhere so this is just a blending um eyeshadow brush and you could use any eyeshadow um this is just a basic eyeshadow um brush um just has this kind of tip um you can't you can use the eyeshadow and um eyeshadow brush as an eyeshadow to put your eyeshadow on but i kind of feel like it just doesn't work but you could do whatever you want so these are the only two i'm going to be working with so hopefully that helps you a little bit more okay so first <clears throat> i am going to take this color right here it's like a brick brown red color very very pretty so i'm going to use that and put that in my crease right there and just blend up so do you see how you can kind of see it right there so we're just going to blend it up oh and before i um put eyeshadow on i always put a base on so there you go and i just put the base right here on my eyelid i didn't put it up to my eyebrow so i just put it right there so go back on with the brick color and just blend. So blend, blend, blend. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm bringing it in all the way to inside, like right here. All the way into my inner eye. So there you go. Blend, 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 blend. And just go back up and just pack the color at the end of your eyelid. And just blend it like that go back in blend it so do you see how it already looks smoky because I already blended out the first time and then I'm just packing the color right here just in this area so it's kind of giving like a smoky look already so just go back in pack and blend okay like that Bring it up a little. Bring it in a little. And just pack it on there. Okay. And then I'm going to apply my highlight right now. Highlight, you just want to get like a white color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this off-white color right here. And then I'm going to apply it underneath my brow bone. And right here. And just blend. Well, not blend. We'll kind of like bring it down and just go back and forth. So blend, yeah. So back in with that white. Down. I'm going to get, you could either get a uh, black or a dark um, plummy burgundy color. So I'm going to go in with this brown plummy color. Pack it on there. See, so I pack the color and I'm going to place it right there at, my, at the end of my... Um, eye and my crease and just blend go 
go back in, grab some more, tap some of the excess of the eyeshadow off, and then just blend on this other side. Go back in. You can make it as dark as you want. I'm gonna try to go make it. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go back in again. And just get it real in my crease. Get it really good. Okay, so it looks something like that. Okay, just blend and blend. Now for your color, the color that we're going to use for our eyelid. Ooh, sorry, can't talk. I am going to use the champagne color right here. Very, very, very gorgeous color. Tap the excess off and just apply right on my lid. Like that. Yes, it is. You got go. So it looks like that. Do you see how um, it mixed in with our browns? So we got to go back in and blend. So go back with that brick red color and tap the excess off and just go back to the crease and just blend everything back together. Go back, blend. And you can bring it higher if you want if you want that brown to show just so it looks very smoky and pretty I kind of want to make it a little bit more smoky so I'm gonna go back to that plum pat and then just dab you don't have to this is optional but I just want to intensify it more I kind of like the smoky um um, nude look it just looks very pretty on anybody anyone can basic basically do it with these colors okay let's see can do it one more time okay I'm gonna grab some black and just darken it up just a bit. Okay, and that's it. Very simple, really easy to do. This is my go-to. It just looks really pretty and simple. So now I'm just going to go and add some eyeliner and mascara. Um, the mascara that I am going to be using, it's this Rimlin um, Volume Mascara. So let's go into this. Always make sure to do your eyebrows too because the eyebrows define your face and it just makes everything look pretty. So go back in. Maybe I'm not going to put eyeliner so I don't take away. Okay, so for the foundation, I just use this light L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. On the commercials, it says it's like a uh, um, full coverage, but it kind of really isn't because you still can see my freckles and, you know, but it covers the redness. So that's why I go to that one the most. Um, next, I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match Blush. And it says, um, let's see, what color is it? Uh... I don't know it's oh sweet ginger so I'm gonna grab a, a brush and just grab some on there tap it off and just apply grab some tap it off it's the skinny girl plumping lip gloss so this is how it comes this is how it looks it's like a tint of pink And that's done and our look is complete so I didn't put on on any eyeliner just so that it wouldn't take away from the look because it's already dramatic as is so I think the eyelashes really pop um, 
and that mascara is just great for this um, type of look. So this is the finished look. Very pretty, very smoky. This is my go-to every day um, when I'm in a hurry or I just want to hurry and put something on instead of going really dramatic with the colors that I usually go for. So yeah, this is it. And thanks for watching.